they say there's two types of people in this world the ones that destroy and the ones that create most recently I've been into making work that communicates creation via destruction after finding the quote by Picasso and stating every act of creation is first an act of destruction I've become attached to the idea and ended up addressing it by creating art with homemade weapons that are associated with destruction themselves I designed and built a handmade missile launcher and missiles to work with that breed art instead of destruction and hate. I also use smoke grenades that create colour after going through a stage of ignition. My art is becoming a very expressive of who I am as a person. People are starting to get a sense of my attitude when they see the finished pieces. I also like to pay attention to details. So even when I'm framing my most recent work, um, the missile launch paintings, I use the same wood that's used to build crates for delivering weapons, which keeps the context um, embodied and together. When I'm asked to do a commission, I understand it's mostly because of the process of my work, which is a main part of the overall outcome now and people like to buy into that. I guess they like the fact that my paintings are made in such a turbulent way that's rarely seen. Some say that I'm a performance artist because it's such a big element in most of my work, even in the urban play project where I've ignited and photographed smoke grenades in cities from Leicester to New York. There's a process to be talked about. Going to places like Harlem at 5 a.m. solely just to ignite smoke grenades and capture those moments isn't for everyone, but initially, it is just the kid in me that wants to show recalcitrance that drives me. But then deeper issues and contexts that have always been present within me start to emerge and around. Adapting handmade weapons and tools commonly associated with riots and war to create art instead of spread fear is a contradiction that positively speaks for itself. One that also explores the primal attraction behind the inventive thought processes of eradication by tool and I apply these tools in, in various ways and being commissioned to commemorate Baroness Dory Lawrence I still wanted to use smoke grenades I felt like using such an explosive method to visually address the rising of a phoenix deeply related to the piece's context and also gave it a modern aesthetic Ultimately though, <clears throat> I think the one thing I try to keep in mind is to make sure my influence and the art world is always a positive one that inspires my own inspirations, which is the younger generations because if, if what I'm doing doesn't speak to my own inner child, whether that be through elements of danger the curiosity of the mysterious or just visual aesthetic then the work's not really going to sit well with me I've just graduated from the Montfort University and I'm just going to keep myself in the studio and do what I love <laughs>